Advanced Conversion Boosters Here are some straightforward ways you can increase conversions even further. These techniques are being used effectively by some of the world's best marketing specialists because they just flat out work. The best part is that while all of these are considered to be advanced strategies, in reality they are all very easy and you can put them to use immediately. First, Scarcity Tactics Scarcity is something that you've most likely seen on different sales pages. There is a wide range of strategies for scarcity that you can use, however, they all basically work the same and it goes something like this. They have to buy now before the end of the special pricing time frame, or they'll miss out on that price. Now what kind of specials would they miss out on? Here are a couple of thoughts. Special discounted prices that will rise substantially when the time frame expires. An offer or deal that they can't get anywhere else. Unavailability of the product due to shortage in inventory. Basically your job is to persuade customers to purchase your product right now. Some customers may leave the website only to come back later and make the purchase, but a majority of visitors that leave your site will never return. If you want to seal the deal and make the sale, then you've got to do it right now. Never give your customers any opportunity to leave without buying. If you need a fast, simple approach to use scarcity on your site, then you can use a countdown timer. If you'd like to see how easy it is to use a countdown timer, you can go to theinternetdrivenlife.com slash timer. Scarcity is truly one of the most effective techniques for getting sales because people hate missing out on a deal for something that they really want. People just don't like to pass up an opportunity on any deal. You'll get people to buy any given deal immediately instead of thinking about it. This little trick will increase your conversion rates more than anything else. Next, offer free samples. Believe it or not, but offering visitors something for nothing can really be a great way to gain trust and make the sale, and it is based on the principle of reciprocity. Let's take an example of a grocery store where free samples of a product are being given away. Most people will end up buying this product even if they don't really want to, because they feel compelled to, after receiving something for free. Many will buy the product because they actually liked it, but also because they felt good about getting something for free. Now there are some that won't buy at all, but some will still feel some level of guilt for getting something for nothing. A similar thing might happen in a shopping mall's food court. Somebody would offer you a sample of pizza, and you wind up eating pizza rather than the burger that you had initially thought you were going to have. I know this absolutely works because it's happened to me before. You can even reinforce the guilt that they feel by subtly mentioning that you just gave them something for free. Many companies and organizations use this technique anytime they give out free samples. Have you ever been through an experience where you got a free trial of something and the company followed up with you and said, we hope you're making the most of your free, no obligation trial. But at the same time, they're also telling you that they've given you a free gift and now they want you to purchase the real product or the full version of the product. The main advantage here is that the free sample won't necessarily be anything of a large monetary value, but it will increase the amount you make in sales versus what it costs you to give these free samples away. Provide social proof. You may have heard that word of mouth marketing is the best kind, and that's absolutely true. Think of yourself as a consumer. Wouldn't you buy something if someone you knew or trusted gave a product a five star rating? This is simply because people trust each other a lot more than they trust advertisers or marketers. As you know, this is no big surprise because most consumers are very skeptical. There are different kinds of social proofs that you can use on your website to increase your credibility. Some of these include video testimonials. Video testimonials are an excellent way to gain trust because visitors see the feedback is coming from people that have really made a purchase. Of course, it could be your mother or most loved cousins to begin with. However, it will help only if the feedback is genuine. Testimonials. These alone most likely won't do much by themselves unless you reinforce them by including names and pictures of actual purchasers. Offsite reviews. If you can find people to offer positive feedback on their own sites, your product will sell more because of this third-party endorsement. Your products will basically be pre-sold when visitors land on your page from someone else's recommendation. Be sure to link to these reviews from your site. Case studies. Another excellent type of social proof is case studies. If you can find genuine cases of individuals who have used your products and profited from them, then these case studies can skyrocket your conversions. Next is on-page pop-ups. On-page pop-ups cannot be blocked by the visitor the way standard pop-ups can. Additionally, they work extremely well if they appear to be part of the actual page. The common types that you will see are light box pop-ups or slide-up pop-ups. Give a strict one-time offer. 
a one-time offer display, is something you offer on a very restricted basis. It is a type of scarcity strategy, which we discussed earlier, yet it is extraordinarily effective as it guarantees you will never see this offer again. If you offer this, make sure you only offer it once so your credibility doesn't take a hit. If they see the same offer again later, they will never believe you again. One-time offers are generally shown to the customer after they make a purchase, and they don't really affect your conversion rates, but they are effective at increasing the sales of other more advanced products or add-on products after the user has purchased your front-end offer. Offer various payment options. Have you ever realized that most online sales pages only offer two of the most common payment options, credit cards and PayPal? With the advancements being made in taking payments online, you can now allow your potential customers various payment options like debit card payments or three-month deferred payment, etc. If your product is expensive, then you may want to consider a more easy and affordable payment plan to help you increase sales. One of the easiest ways is to break the payment plan into three months of deferred payments. For example, many would find it difficult to pay $200 at one time for a tablet, but they would be able to afford it in three installments. So you could divide the sales price of your $200 product into a billing plan of $70 for three months. And then you would actually earn an extra $10 for the same product just by letting the user pay in installments. Try it and see the increasing conversions for yourself. Know your USP. USP? What does that mean to increasing your conversions? Well, USP stands for Unique Selling Proposition, and your USP is something that will separate you from your competitors in the eyes of your prospective customers. Remember that a USP does not need to be unique to whatever you are selling, and it might already be available in all of your rival's products. It is simply unique to your company since you highlight that feature and your competition doesn't. A well-known case of a USP can be demonstrated with Claude Hopkins taking a tour through the Schlitz brewing plant. While there, Hopkins saw the empty beer bottles being cleaned with steam. The plant manager told him that he didn't think that they could use the steam cleaning of empty bottles in the advertising because every beer company did exactly the same thing. Hopkins understood that the normal consumer had no idea about this part of the process, so he highlighted this information in the Schlitz campaign, and sales skyrocketed. So remember, your USP isn't essentially about being one of a kind. The USP is about telling your client something that's unique about you or your product.